Okie dokie boys and girls, so before the video starts, I did promise I was doing a 50 million coin giveaway, so we're going to claim our two winners now, but before we do go any further, I am doing a 100 million giveaway this time, that's right guys, 100 million coins giveaway, since it's near the end of the game, I'm pretty much trying to give away all my coins, so all you have to do is like and comment and make sure you are subscribed to enter, but uh, let's get straight into the 50 million coin winners, uh, we're not going to include replies, and uh, we've got 144 entries that's a lot so first winner is going to be xm packed um and also the other winner is going to be andreas macris i think that's how you say his name so both of you guys won 25 mil make sure you do comment down your id your instagram your discord or whatever so we can, can trade but uh yeah um let's get on to the next thing all right guys so for the second part is that i asked you guys to ask questions for pack win and uh I chose all of the best questions, me and Paquin News, and uh, we asked 20 questions to Paquin, and they have actually replied and answered every single question now. So th there will be a video very soon about the Q&A with the official Paquin developers. So hopefully you guys are subscribed and you'll be tuned in for that because you definitely don't want to miss that out about the new Paquin 21 game. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm um, sorry about the long start. You know, I had a lot of things that I had to bring up. But we're going to get straight into it and talk about the weekend tournament. So if you guys don't trust me and you think, you know, the squads I'm going to show you sounds really dodgy or anything, um, then honestly, you don't have to worry about a single thing because uh, I'm just going to claim my rewards right now and uh, tell you that I've been in top 100 quite a few times and uh, I'll show you in my uh, history. Sometimes it's been quite dodgy, but trust me, if you guys are actually good at the game with Weekend League, then you can definitely use these and uh, get in the top 100 a lot of times. A lot of the times, as you can clearly see, I got in bronze because I just honestly didn't try. But uh, as you can clearly see, I've got a lot of 30 wins, 29 wins, and 28 wins with a lot of score. And that's the main thing about these squads is that it gives you a lot of score. And I just want to um, say before we do get like properly into it, is I want to say shout out to um, Paquin underscore uh, Kante. I think that's his username. I'll be putting it um, in the screen right now and also put his link to his Instagram because he's um, honestly uh, a really nice guy who's allowed me to show you guys his squads which i've actually used and improved on um i've used my own squads before which got me top 100s and i used uh 77 rated squads he's using 78 rated squads so i'll be showing you mine and his and the thing is i've changed this to make it even better so i'll show you right now on the squid screen his squads the top uh, the three squads he used for weekend league because obviously you, ne you need to use three different squads and um we're gonna get straight into the 77 rated squads. so the first one um, that I used to use is the English squad. This is like um, pretty much the main players. And to explain how to actually use it, main you usually want to save your best cards to the end because uh, you want to uh, try to like abuse the defensive part of the game in weekend league. So you, you can see that every single team I'm going to show you is using a 5-3-2 formation because it's honestly the best formation to use, especially against these kinds of team. Uh, my second team is going to be this one, the Italian. Uh, it's not as strong as the first one, but honestly, if you guys are actually good at the game, you should be using these with no problem. And that's the third one here, which is also very strong in my opinion. You've got the R node, which you should always use near the end because he is the only one that's really reliable in terms of attack. And he wouldn't he wouldn't lose a single um uh battle against someone when someone's using defend. So those are my old squads that I used to use, which is pretty nice. However, the new squads that um Tante showed me and also I improved on um it's gonna be these ones and as you can clearly see you're gonna ask what's improved on the only thing that's changed is that the f the teams that he showed didn't have all 10 chemistries in terms of the high rated players henderson still doesn't have 10 chemistry because obviously he's out of position but in terms of this he used um i think harry Maguire and an 83 rated player um those two players didn't get 10 chemistry because they just couldn't get enough links however i've used tarkosti and me because those two are both in the same club so honestly this helps a lot so for the second squad as you can clearly see i've changed the squad dramatically compared to the person who um made this squad in the first place so uh he had a lot of players that was pretty high rated that was pretty unnecessary in my opinion so he had an 83 rated uh defender bartra and also um sergi roberto in 82 rated cards so instead i've changed the striker to a center mid because he's got the 82 attack with also 79 defend so pretty much i've changed it where a lot of players is now got uh good defensive stats as well as 
decent attacking stats. So in my opinion, I think this squad really nice. also changed by using a few players that got um, more chemistry, as you can clearly see with the two centre backs in the same club. So they both got um, an extra stat, which is good. So I'm just going to play a game with each squad to show you how I play with it. And then you can understand how I use them. So uh, let's get straight into it. Alright guys, so the first squad I'm using is actually going to be the English one. This is personally my favourite one because a lot of the cards are really high rated one. My second favourite is probably going to be the German one and my least favourite is going to be the um, Spanish one. So I'll be explaining uh, each one. So we got um, training here because obviously it's a good way to try and play it. But uh, obviously pack one servers is just dodgy here. Um, the thing I needed to tell you guys is that you should probably play a few training games to understand how to play it. You shouldn't really like... Um, go straight into it without knowing what you're doing like, you don't really play football you don't watch a tutorial of a skill move and do it without tr trying it first in an actual like training match or whatever so here um this guy's using pretty similar squad to me actually um in terms of my english squad but i like to use always my strongest cards in um what do you call it in the english squad because i know there's a lot of cards that's really strong so i'm really confident in this usually but if i see um, if if I see this guy use his best attacker, which is um, Vardy, we should instantly get the win because um, pretty much he has no other cards left. So now it's going to be a draw if I use um, Vardy, if he uses Vardy, because the best defense is going to be 82. But here we should be fine. This is definitely not going to be a game where I can win 11-0, but it should be fine. All right, let's see what he uses here. All right, he uses that. Um, the CDM. I think that's going to be a player that's actually pretty decent in defense. I think it could be a team of the season card, but uh, it's going to be pretty useless in the attack. So, yeah, the Vardy actually didn't get full chemistry because he used the CDM that's from a different league rather than using a player like Henderson, like me. So here we should get instantly an easy 5-0 lead. Um, let's see. All right, he uses Grant. So this, this is the thing, yeah? So you see how he just used a player... Uh, rather than using a CDM. So now he's going to get a point maybe. But uh, what I'm going to do instead is probably use the striker. Um, actually, no, that's a bad idea. I'm going to use the defender with the lowest defense right here. So I'm going to use the goalkeeper. And hopefully he uses a CDM here. If not, it's pretty much um, fine. But I knew it was going to be a team of the season. So I was not going to use uh, Rashford or else I could cause myself some problems. So now I got control again because he's using a centre-back and uh, I can easily win this by using Rashford. So by using Rashford now, I can go back to abusing the method of just using loads of defenders. So we're going to use defense with uh, Sadler here. And even though he these defenders, the right back could be uh, Wan Pasaka 82. They could be high rated. He's still going to get beaten by Silvers because they don't have good attack. So that's what you want to do. You can see how uh, near the end of the game, they usually should have only defense left so you can abuse it. So we're going to use the defense here again. And uh, they can't do anything about it. And uh, the striker has only 40 defending. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to win. But if it is, that'll be great to get a 10-1 win. Um, it is actually. So we just won 10-1, which is actually really solid for points. Um, we're going to use our second squad now to see how things go. Use our second squad here, the Spanish one, and play it in the match to see how it works. And uh, honestly, I think this one's a pretty uh, decent one if you know how to use it. So let's see what he's using. So he's using a French team here. Pretty much in general, in this kind of like area and uh, rating, usually you always uh, go against people who's using One Nation. If they're not doing that, you usually get a guaranteed win. So here, um, we're just going to be using our striker with this one. And uh, we get a nice, easy win. So now what we're going to be doing is using um, our 81 centre-back. Or you could use a Dan, it doesn't really matter. We're going to be using them uh, at the start either way, so it doesn't matter. And see who he uses now. All right, he uses Ben Yedda, and that's fine, actually. We should have used uh, silver cards to try and bait out his other cards, but honestly, that's fine. So he's using this player instead. And I think this one's not as good, so we're going to be using uh, maybe the silver card here. And uh, we get a draw instead. So now we're going to be using a Dan. We get a draw again. All right, now he's attacking. So we're going to be using uh, Martinez and we get an, e an easy win. Uh, we're going to be using the player here on the left centre mid and use his 80 defending. And we should get his centre mid out of the way. Once we do that, we pretty much get a guaranteed win. And yes, we do, because now we can abuse our defence. So we're just going to use um, this guy with his defend. 
77 defend. I'm pretty sure his fullback doesn't have a 77 attack. And uh, he had 71 attack, which is actually pretty good, which is why I used him rather than the silver cards, because, you know, we might as well use him. I saved this guy because in case we did lose, we also have the 82 attack, so we were fine. But now I'm going to be using um, him to get the guaranteed win. Uh, let's see if he uses Kazawa. All right, he does. And now we can actually use these cards comfortably because centre-backs generally does not have like over 65 um, defending. So that's fine for us. And now we can use this comfortably. Boom. And now we can use this guy and def defend. He might not win it, but strikers usually have a decent chance if they have high defending. Let's see what the defender is with his defence. Uh, attack and we actually did win it so we won 8-1 here which is not the best because like i said again you want to try and win as many 11 nils as you can but again like i said um it was pretty good now with our last squad here we got our german one which i really like because of the arnold he's a really op card 82 rating with 84 attack it's just really op so let's get straight into this one and uh of course the uh, error is there again all right so let's start Alright, finally, it took a while to actually connect. So let's see. So just from seeing this, we can already tell he's using an English squad. And it's going to be, again, very similar to the team that we use, actually. So we're going to know what kind of cards he has. But he's obviously changed it to make it um, mainly Premier League, as you can clearly see. So we're going to start off with, actually, um, probably, let's use uh, Ben. You know what, actually, you uh, this team's got a really good defense. So I'm going to actually start off with the strongest defender here. That's what I usually like to do. I use um the 83 centre-back because he gets a guaranteed win. The 82 usually get guaranteed wins as well. But if not, the uh, the least it can get is a draw. So that's pretty good. Um, let's see what they're going to be using now. All right, he's using the Ox. Um, the striker should be Wilson, 80 rated, I think. So either way, we should beat him unless he's... There we go. Um, the only problem that could have happened if that he didn't... He was hesitant to not use Wilson, and eventually we had to use Bender against Wilson to get a draw. But that's fine. So now we've got that. We're going to be using Bender next. Come on. He uses that. So he's really hesitant of using his other players. So now what we're going to be doing is actually, instead, what we're going to use is probably use the striker for defend. And hopefully he uses the midfielder. If not, then that's, that means we can't you know, try this again because uh, he's trying to play really smart all right so we pretty much won anyway because we got arno to make it 6-5 but uh honestly we want to try and get the best possible outcome so we're going to be using arnold here to get against drink water we're going to be using uh the left back because i know this is going to be the 66 attack center mid so we should beat him and he doesn't actually use him he uses cody but instead um he's actually going to get a nice comeback here surely uh who should we use here we're going to be using um this guy And we lost against him. And he's using uh, Trent here. Oh, no, he's using um, Klein, actually. But, uh, yeah, in the end, he actually got it back to 7-4. So it wasn't actually the best game. But like I said, again, it depends on how your opponent plays. And usually, if you play pretty late at night, you should go against bots. Because right now, um, if you go against actual players, you would never really win 11-0 because they're not going to be that easy. But if you go against bots, 11-0 will be quite easy because they usually play to your hands. So that's pretty much all there is to this video. Hopefully, you guys will do good in weekend league because obviously, um, it's starting tomorrow. So hopefully this video is going to be helpful for you guys. Definitely play training before the weekend league starts so you can understand how to use your squads. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please like and comment. I'll see you guys very soon. Stay safe.